Heard exclusively on the Tom Joyner Morning Show. Mike Epps, how many movies have you done? Man, Tom, I think I've been in about 55 movies. That many? Wow. Wow. We're not familiar with all 55, are we? Not really. (laughs) (laughs) No, you might know five of them, 55. No, we I've know more than a, we we know more than five of the of the of the uh, of your biggest movies, which is uh, most memorable, or most uh, your most favorite. You know, I think the my most favorite movie has got to be all about the Benjamins. They play that on TV every day like it's a TV show. <laughs> and my most memorable movie that I played was uh, the movie with Whitney Houston, Sparkle. Mm, Sparkle, oh, yeah. yeah. I thought you was going to say I that. remember being on the set with Whitney, man. I, I love Whitney Houston, man. I seen the real Whitney Houston. I seen the Whitney Houston a lot of people didn't see because uh, she was she was on a movie set, and she was different. She was really, really alert and responsive and, like, professional and it was like, man. Were you a big I, fan of hers? Were you a uh, before before the movie Sparkle? Were you a, were you in love with it then? Oh man, I remember her first album. Remember that first album she had when she was in the water, and her hair was slicked back. Mm-hmm. Yeah, first album. Yeah. Oh man, I love Whitney Houston, man. And then to work with her, she was really really cool on the set. And then she would come on the set, and come look straight for me. Mm. Come on, let's smoke a cigarette. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a chance to ask her all the real questions. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. I said, yeah, I asked her the real question. I was like, yeah, man. I was like, I was like, boy, they be, you and Bobby, y'all are something else. He's like, I and Tina didn't have nothing on us. I said, I know. <laughs> I believe that. You ain't got to tell me nothing. <laughs> you, you ain't got to tell me that. <laughs> she was, She was real, man. She talked to man. She talked to me about a lot, and I tell people this all the time. Whitney Houston. She told me. She said. She said, Mike, if I die today, I live. I did my thing. I, I can remember getting up at three o'clock in the morning, just out of my sleep, and just going and getting on a private jet, flying to Monte Carlo. Just, just wake up and get on a jet, fly to Monte Carlo, France, and Paris, and just get on a yacht, stay on a yacht for two days, you know what I mean, a week, and just, she said, man, I lived a million people's lives. Mm. And she she told me that out of her mouth. I don't tell everybody that, but I tell the world that because that was something precious that was to me. And she straight up told me, she said, man, I'm, I get tired, man, I'm tired. She said, I've been performing since I was a kid, since I was a teenager. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I said, well, she, well, give me some of that money then if you ain't going to do anything with it. <laughs> and she crack up, huh? Yeah, mm. yeah, fall out laughing. I said, bust that bread down with me, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on the set, and Jordan, every time I look at Jordan Sparks would be just, she would come in front of Whitney Houston and just start singing without, she would be like, ooh. <laughs> and Whitney Houston would look at me like, oh, God, here she comes. <laughs> <laughs> I wish she would just shut up. I don't want to hear her. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god! <laughs> oh. She said I had to deal. I had to deal with the same thing out of Mariah Carey. Just want to sing, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just she was keeping it real, huh? Man. She was. Oh, she was the. She was the truth. She was the truth. And she would she could be real ghetto and then if the phone rings, she'll pick up the phone. She'd be like, Man, I I sit there and talk. Hold up, my phone ring. Hello. How are you? Hello, love. <laughs> <laughs> two, we had two voices, man. 